Hello, I'm Dr. Maureen Baxter, Head of Women's Imaging at Providence St. Vincent Medical Center. I would like to talk about the importance of breast density in mammography. Oregon law requires all imaging centers to notify patients if they have dense breast tissue on their mammogram. What is dense breast tissue and what are the associated risks? Breast density is the ratio of fat to fibroglandular tissue in the breast. With the fibroglandular tissue including elements such as milk ducts, lobules, and connective tissue. Density is not something you can feel. It can only be seen on a mammogram. There are four categories of breast tissue depending on the amount of fibroglandular tissue you have. Fat looks black on a mammogram. Fibroglandular tissue looks white on a mammogram. The problem is that cancers also look white on a mammogram. Therefore, if there is a lot of fibroglandular tissue, that is, if the tissue is dense, it can obscure a cancer. Let's look at some examples. This is an image of the four categories of breast tissue, fatty, scattered fibroglandular, heterogeneously dense, and here on the right, extremely dense. These last two categories are generally considered dense. Approximately half the female population has dense breast tissue. This is an example of a cancer in the left breast. In this fatty breast, the cancer is well visualized. This is a patient with dense breast tissue who presented with a lump. Her cancer is right in the middle of her breast, but even in retrospect cannot be seen on mammography. Here is her MRI showing her 2.5 centimeter cancer in her right breast. There are two major issues with dense breast tissue. First, as we have just seen, the normal dense breast tissue can hide a cancer. More than one-third of breast cancers are not seen in women with dense breast tissue. In addition to this, women with dense breasts have an increased risk of breast cancer from 1.2 to 2 times the risk when compared with average breast density. So what is there to do? At Providence, we recommend that you discuss your screening options with your primary health care provider. If you are average risk of developing breast cancer, mammography is still likely to be adequate in terms of screening. However, higher risk patients or very concerned patients may benefit from additional screening. Additional screening options include ultrasound or MRI. If you have a mother, sister, or daughter who had premenopausal breast or ovarian cancer, or a male relative with breast cancer, or if you have had a history of atypical cells on previous breast biopsy, you may benefit from a breast cancer risk assessment. Providence St. Vincent and Providence Portland Medical Centers both have high-risk breast services specifically designed to address individual risks and concerns. These services are designed to evaluate individualized risk factors, counsel on lifestyle changes or medications to decrease risk, arrange for additional screening, and treat symptomatic patients. The breast centers at Providence Portland and Providence St. Vincent Medical Centers have both achieved Breast Imaging Center of Excellence status from the American College of Radiology. Radiologists specializing in breast imaging and nurse navigators at both facilities are available to answer any breast imaging questions you or your healthcare provider may have. Thank you.